Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my full wash and go routine and this video is going to be long because we're going to go from start to finish. So I straightened my hair about two and a half weeks ago and it's definitely time for a wash and I've gotten a lot of questions and comments on how I do my wash and go from start to finish so I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. To start, I'm going to shampoo my hair using Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Shampoo. I like to apply the shampoo all the way throughout my hair because it helps in getting the curls to bounce back after wearing my hair stretched for a few weeks. I mentioned before if you're struggling with getting your curls to bounce back, instead of co-washing, try a good shampoo and apply it from root to ends. I'm going to use Talia Waji's Green Apple and Aloe Deep Conditioner as my rinse out conditioner. I'm adding more water into my hair and I love the Green Apple and Aloe Conditioner. It has great slip and is very moisturizing. It is a deep conditioner but I'm using it as a rinse out conditioner. It works great as a deep conditioner but I'm coming from wearing my hair straight so I wanted to add a rinse out conditioner and then I'll go in with the deep conditioner in just a bit. I'm going to detangle with a wide tooth comb. So you can see how my hair is moisturized and you can see that my curls are starting to bounce back. My hair feels hydrated and it feels really soft. After rinsing out the conditioner, I'm going to go in with Aunt Jackie's Grapeseed Thirst Quenching Recovery Conditioner. And most of you know that this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. This actually is my third jar that I'm on. It's great at replenishing moisture while keeping the hair super strong.
I'm using a wide tooth comb to ensure that the deep conditioner is coating my hair. I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. After rinsing out the deep conditioner, I'm going to use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner from Shea Moisture. I'm applying this all over and then I'll section my hair and apply it. I like to work the leave-in in really good and just make sure that the ends are covered to help minimize dry and split ends. You all have seen this teal brush in just about every video and it's the Felicia Leatherwood brush. This brush makes a huge difference in helping me obtain a defined wash and go. For my styler, I'm using Eco Style Super Olive Gel, and y'all already know why I love this gel. I'm making sure the gel is applied all the way down to the ends. I'm just doing the shingling method. You don't have to do this method. You can do the raking or smoothing or praying hands method. My curls last longer with the shingling method, but I do use the raking and smoothing method at times. Go with your preference.
After shingling, I'm going to sit under the dryer, which you see behind me, for about an hour and a half. It does take a while to dry. After I sit under the dryer, I'm going to take a handheld blow dryer and stretch my hair. I stretch one side off camera, and I'm going to show you how I stretch the other side. So I start with blow drying my roots because sometimes it may still be damp. And I stretch it using the heat. Now the tricky part to this is sometimes I don't stretch it evenly, which is what you will see here. But I usually fix it once I style it. I'll just lift up the roots on the side that's a little bit longer. Also, my hair is a little bit uneven. I have more layers on my left side, which is your right side, but it's all good. I will fix it maybe on my next trim. I forgot to mention that after I stretch each section, I like to use a serum for shine. And here I'm just using the Pantene Hydrating Oil Serum. So here is the finished look. My curls bounce back perfectly from when I straightened it. There's no heat damage. So that is my full wash and go routine. I hope this video helps you guys on perfecting your wash and goes. Let me know if you have any questions and we can chat below. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll chat with you guys later.